Hey there, it's Michelle. And I'm Duffy, and this is our 366 project. We take a photo every single day in 2020. We edit the photo and we post it to social media. Every single day for 366 days because it's a leap year. And right now it's raining. But here's what we have for this week. Hi there. This week we are going to try something a little bit different. As you can see by the title on our video, it was a lame week. And it was lame in a couple ways. One, Duffy. Well, yeah, I had a little arthritis in my feet, so I could not walk too far. And the second reason is that taking pictures and getting out there because of Duffy's foot, we failed to get very much footage because we were kind of unmotivated. So we thought we'd just kind of mix things up, swizzle it up a little bit and um, tell you about our week throughout the entire video. So we will uh, be talking under the videos this week, such as they are. We're, we're going to try it and we'll see how it works and hopefully you like it. Without further ado, let's jump right into week 36, a lame week. This first day, day 244, we went to Terra Nova Park down in Richmond. For the first part of the day, we actually went by the airport and tried to check to see if we could get the full moon coming down over Richmond, but we didn't find any good pictures there. So what happens a lot of times is that we look at these locations online, but we had no idea what was going to be there photo-wise. Um, uh, it was interesting because it was right by the airport. We hoped we could find something interesting for foregrounds, but we really didn't. We did that during the afternoon, I guess. Then we stopped and looked for something to eat. And we found down in Richmond, there was a place we could get some sandwiches. So we drove down to Richmond and uh, did that for our dinner. And then looked to see if we could find something else to take pictures of. We found there was a park called Terra Nova Park. So we figured, all right, we're not too far away. Let's drive over there and we'll take a look. Again, the photos were, were nice. Taz had a, a nice walk. There was a walk along the dike, which goes all the way around Richmond, which we could take them on. So we went and took a look at that. We got what pictures we could, and basically that was it for the day. On day 245, September 1st, which was a Tuesday, we again hopped onto Google Maps to check out another new location, which happened to be along the BC Highway 1. Um, but there's this little trail that we wanted to check out, and um, it happened to be not much of anything to take pictures of. So we decided to bail and head over to Ambleside. Yeah. Uh, the one interesting thing about that park was the highway goes through this area called the Cut. So it goes up the side of the mountain. There's no, nothing built on either side. There's just forest on either sides. So we thought there would be something interesting, but there wasn't. So as Michelle says, we then headed down to Ambleside Dog Beach. Sunset was about to happen. We figured, well, that's as good a place to go as any. And so has had a fantastic time playing with the other dogs heading into the water we managed to get a little bit of a sunset it was nice it wasn't anything spectacular but we got some good shots there yes taz was guarding his mommy when oh, oh, the other oh. dogs came sniffing by oh. he'd bark at them and chase them away and uh he loves standing in the water getting wet doing that kind of thing so we just kind of shot a few pictures around him as he played and because it was a nice-ish sunset we managed to get some nice-ish pictures which is uh, what we're aiming for. So anyhow that was it for Tuesday. For Wednesday we were scrambling around trying to figure out um, a place to find a good panorama shot of the Van Greater Vancouver area, specifically um, the city of Vancouver, from the mountains of the North Shore. 
You have to remember that, uh, as I say, I was lame, so we really didn't want to go anywhere. We would have to walk too far. So we went exploring uh, not too far away from us. We just decided to take the car and go someplace where we thought we might be able to find a good view. And we drove around and we saw, oh, that looks like it might be good. That looks like it might be good. So we, we uh, found a place to park and found a good place for panoramas. And we, uh, we just took some pictures. So yeah, the pictures, as you can see, turned out pretty well. We got some good vistas um, up in the neighborhood. And um, that's what is so nice about the North Shore Mountains is that in the right places you've got beautiful, beautiful views. So we got our panoramas and we headed on home to uh, the wine. <laughs> Always about the wine. <laughs> For Thursday, I guess we're on Thursday now, my foot was feeling better, it's getting better each day. I could do a little more walking around. So we went up Mountain Highway to where the Baden-Powell Trail crosses it because there's a hill there with all kinds of interesting uh, rock ramps where the bicycles come down. So yeah, Mount Frama is known for its mountain biking trails and, it, and there's just a plethora of different levels of trails. Everybody from beginners all the way up to really professional bikers that head down these trails and, and some of the ramps and such. So yeah, we walked down to the stairs and we headed up and found pictures where we could. We were hoping to get some bicyclists coming down so we could get some video and pictures of them on the rock ramps and we did. Yeah, so we got some really good shots of of course the the bikes coming down yep. it's really amazing what they can do i mean some of the, the the rock ramps and the i guess they call them roller coasters that they go on that's just amazing um and as you can see at the very end of the video there was a a group um, led by some teenagers of some i think eight to nine year olds on their mountain bikes there must have been maybe about 10 of them just heading down this intermediate, I think it's intermediate trail, and um, it was just amazing to see. And this is the way it is on the North Shore. Um, there are um, many, many recreational opportunities for, for young kids um, to get into, whether it be mountain biking or skiing, uh, hiking, uh, just about anything that you could ever want uh, is, is all there on the North Shore. So anyways, um, they uh, we headed back up the mountain, I think for another lap on the mountain. We're starting lower down. We're going to have to go all the way up that big hill down. It was, uh, it was fun seeing them. Uh, all so young and so excited about the, the mountain biking. Anyway, that was it for, for Thursday. So on Friday, we decided to explore up the Sea to Sky Highway. We theorized there was a road where we could get a shot of Horseshoe Bay from high up. So we went to explore that. We found that uh, we could get a partial picture of Horseshoe Bay, not the whole thing. Because there wasn't all that much that we could get there, we decided to head further up the highway. So for all of you that are not familiar with Vancouver and, and the Sea to Sky Highway. It is the most scenic highway, I think, of all of North America. This goes along the House Sound, all the way up to Squamish and further north up to Whistler. Um, it's got beautiful, beautiful views of the, the House Sound area, along with all of the, the islands to the west. We, we stopped at a road called Porto Cove Road, and we got out, and when we did, these rays were shooting through the clouds and it was looking crazy. And this happened to be a good spot to stop, but maybe not necessarily a good spot for the landscape photography piece of this. We got what shots we could there and then we headed back and then it started to really go off. We found a place that we could pull off and we just got some crazy shots there. It was beautiful. So all in all, that day was just a lot of fun, so it was a good, like, rest, rest day. On Friday, I was feeling a, even a little more mobile, so we decided to go to one of our local areas where we've taken pictures a lot, Mosquito Creek. It's so fortunate to have a local creek so close to home and so scenic and, and photogenic. It just 
a, a super easy, okay, what do we do? We're gonna go to Mosquito Creek. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much what we did. Uh, we explored the trail to the left a bit downhill just to see if we could see anything there. And we really couldn't, so we came back and we went to a spot just above the bridge over the creek where we knew there were interesting cataracts and you could get pictures of the bridge if you wanted. And that's what we took pictures of. It was very nice. It was nice because it's kind of away from people. Not many people come through there, um, but you can kind of come off the, the beaten path of the trail, um, come down to the creek level and get some really pretty shots because the water kind of pulls up and gets that, that mossy green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets a really pretty color. Yeah, it just makes more um, kind of an easy, quick shot of the day. Even though you kind of want to try different things and find little different areas, that seems to be our kind of our go-to area for what do we do now <laughs> type of So, area. another nice day for our lame week. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, our final day of the week, we went to explore near UBC because we were going to go during the next week to the UBC Botanical Gardens. We want to see where we could park, where the gates of the gardens were, and that kind of thing. So there's a road that goes behind the Botanical Gardens and is right above the ocean and there's a viewpoint there. And we decided since we were there, that's where we would get our pictures. You know, we got, uh, we got pictures there and it was very successful as far as scouting it out went. But in this case, we brought Taz along, had a bit of a walk, and uh, then just took a few pictures of the sunset and, uh, you know, kind of used horizontal lines as the theme of the picture because that was all we had. Anyhow, uh, that was it for Sunday. So, we hope that you enjoyed this. We need your kind of good thoughts and motivations to get us to that finish line. So as Duffy said, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, give us a thumbs up on the video. Give us a comment uh, if you like the videos. Um, any kind of changes you'd like to see, that would be, you know, fantastic for us. All right. We will see you next week. And thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.